Thank you, colleagues, and welcome back after our summer recess. We begin, as usual, with our first item of business, time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Canon Dominic Ind, former rector and university chaplain of St. Saviour's Episcopal Church, Bridge of Allen. Thank you, presiding officer. We have to go back roughly a thousand years when Edinburgh and the Lothians belonged to the Kingdom of Northumbria. That kingdom spanning from the 7th century to the 10th century. From this period comes an outstanding figure known as the Apostle of Northumbria. I'm referring to Aidan of Lindisfarne, recognized as a saint by the vast majority of Christians, spanning the Eastern Orthodox Church, Roman Catholic Church, and my own tradition, the Anglican Communion. Aidan died on the 31st of August, 651, and in the Scottish Episcopal Church calendar is the 31st of August when we give thanks for his life. So last week, what were we celebrating about this monastic bishop who lived so many centuries ago? And does he have any relevance for us in 2018? We can say certain things about Aidan, such as his credit to restoring Christianity to Northumbria. Fact that he founded a monastic cathedral on the island of Lindisfarne and that he served as the first bishop there. What for me, though, stands out is this. He was able to connect in a dynamic way with the nobility of the day, as well as what we might call the socially disenfranchised. St. Oswald, King of Northumbria, 604 to 64142, described by the historian Bede as a saintly king, was also the most powerful ruler in Britain. He was hugely influenced by the monks of Iona and particularly by Aidan. The two lived opposite each other, Lindisfarne facing Bambria, and they both worked to serve the people of that kingdom. Mixed with royalty on one hand, yet had an immense compassion for the most vulnerable in society. For example, with orphans. Aidan would house and educate them, and he would personally pay for the freedom of slaves. Aidan does speak to us today, because his life and teaching remind us as to how we should treat our fellow human beings. In Scotland, we are used to the phrase, we're all Jock Tamson's bairns. But sadly, there are plenty of examples in our society where the philosophy that we're all the same is not manifestly obvious. This equality, which probably all of us in this building aspire to, starts with our attitude to others and we don't differentiate between rich and poor, black and white, and so on. Aidan got that, and he didn't just teach it, he acted on it. May we, like Aidan, treat all people as sacred and precious. Thank you for listening, and may God bless this parliament as you return from your summer session.